Hello, welcome. Uh, I'm Tawfiqul Islam, and uh, I welcome you to my project uh, demonstration. My project is about wireless sensor network. I develop a uh, XB-based wireless sensor network uh, for implementation in uh, fire detection system. So, um, how it works? If you look at such as block diagram. So, if you look at this. So, this is my uh, uh, primary target. It's a class A type fire which is general fire and then uh, the fire is uh, censored by three sensor uh, so this is uh, our smoke sensor temperature sensor and gas sensors these are all general sensors so uh, this sensor uh, gives me some preliminary data about the event which is fire in my case so uh, I process this data with XB and you can see this is this is my XB module. So uh, the configuration is about 80 uh, and pure mesh configuration. So I am using no external comp components to uh, get my ADC value, such as Arduino or other microcontrollers. So I directly process the sensor data with XB itself, and then the XB. Uh, transmits the process data to the coordinator because uh, in my system I used the AT command and pure mesh network so I have much more nodes it's a just simulation of one node but practically I have three nodes and they all are configured in router mode because I don't know when uh, my data will come and if any uh, node fails to transmit uh, data to the coordinator so it can um, repeat by, via the router so each and every node gets uh, data and uh, it ensures the data quality to comes to the coordinator so I collect my uh, sensor data from the XB node to the coordinator side and I have uh, the main processor over here it's um, Ethernet, it's a Arduino and a Ethernet shield. So my data comes from XB to XB coordinator, and the coordinator transmits the um, data with serial communication, which is RXTX, and I collect um, the data from coordinator um, to Arduino via Ethernet shield with the serial communication. Then uh, I repeat the data to uh, I uh, repeat the data to the Wi-Fi router, which is um, connected. You can see the setup over there. Uh, you can see the coordinator. This is my coordinator, and this is my serial communication to the Arduino board, and it's a Ethernet shield. And you can you can see the Wi-Fi router over here. So whatever data comes, it goes to the router and the purpose of a router is to connect Wi-Fi connection to my PC for my further processing so in PC I have two things which um, I process the data and uh, show in HTML page view the sensor readings and um, the indoor localization which uh, uses the triangulation technique and um, I also log the uh, data uh, so I had to use the MySQL database server and the data is kept in CSV or comma separated value format so it can be further processed um, via the Excel spreadsheet so this is a quick overview of my system and let's now demonstrate the system so you can see this is my temperature sensor and flame sensor and uh, this is a smoke sensor so basically three sensors temperature sensors infrared flame sensors gas sensors but uh, it was the first revision so it has some problems with the infrared sensors because the xb uh, can process adc that uh, that has up to 1.2 volt limit but uh, due to its um, high set configuration uh, three xb devices were, were burnt so i had to recalculate 
I had to rebuild the infrared sensor and this is the revised infrared flame sensor which has a protection so that uh, uh, in any case no voltage goes up to 1.2 volt so I will not using this infrared sensor instead I will use this and rest of the devices are okay so this is my mode uh, a complete wireless development board which I use for my project and uh, A to Z design and implementation is uh, done by me so you can see its battery and beneath the box it is high capacity and cheap batteries available in market latest technology and uh, some regulators 5 volt regulator 3.3 volt regulators for XBs and uh, it's also a current regulator uh, for XB so that um, <coughs> no extra current goes to the XB because XB is highly power sensitive so any voltage greater than 3.3 volts 3.7 volt actually 3.7 volt and 250 amps milliamps current is very harmful for this XB devices so I didn't want it to take the risk that's why I implemented these devices and you can see there are very um, rails which are break break out 3.3 volt rails for sensors 5 volt and ground in it is extra headers uh, and these pins are let me show you these pins are break out for xbs so i can directly plug in the xb breakout to the board and i get one one total 20 pins xb 20 pins here you can see 10 pins and here 10 pins so no problem with my connections and this is two transistors which i used for the series leds it's just a detection led or any kinds of led to check so and another transistor is for buzzer which is uh, not uh, let me show you the buzzer so uh, this is the buzzer so any in any event i can light up the leds and uh, put and turn on the buzzers to um, trigger an alarm so that's all about it and there's the charging port for the rechargeable battery nothing to say more about this so let's go to the point moreover then let me power of the board so let's turn on the system Okay, so Wi-Fi router is turning on, and you can see a device over here, uh, which is a uh, um, external power supply for the Ethernet shield and Arduino because the built-in 5 volt uh, power supply is not enough for the Ethernet shield. So I had to make another power supply, and it can provide me. 5 volt and 3.3 volt at 1 amps which is very necessary for me so okay power the HB coordinator and the Ethernet shield so now check these connections in the computer before that I have to stop some things Exit, close the software. Okay. And this person limited. So I'm connected to the Wi Fi network. 
Now let's see. check if we are our devices attached yeah you can see number of devices are two one is the this computer and another is the OSNet and Ethernet shield so if you can so this is our this is my computer and this is my computer and this is the WinSnet feed so uh, this is its MAC address which is fixed uh, which was fixed by me so we are good to go now we are logging in to the system before this uh, that let's power up the system so I'm now power up in, powering up the system actually my uh, uh, I will just show just the infrared sensor and I will not I will uh, escape the other two so for that I will ground make the other sensors grounded so to make sure I'm getting zero ADC value for rest of the devices so it's just pulling down and you can see in my uh, flame sensor VCC ground and the data pin to XB ADC. Okay, let's power it up. The system is powered, so you can see a LED which uh, which indicates it's searching for network. And it's okay, it's blinking. That means it's connected to the XB network. So it is transmitting data right now, but to see we have to configure something. Okay, you can see it's connected but it is waiting for the connection so we have to reset the ethernet shield so we just restarted the ethernet shield and you can see we are receiving data so to show see the data we will So if we start reading, press start reading, we should get some value. 
okay you can see we are receiving data it's our XB ID which is in decimal form so if we convert it, this decimal we should get C7E5 which is written over there it's it is its uh, ID number so basically this is the sensor value it is a place for sensor value so we are connected we have connected one sensor which is flame sensor and other two sensors as you can remember we grounded it so it is transmitting as zero so it is uh, 39 current value so let me show you it's a lighter so i will light up the fire so it should, it should change uh, So you can see the values are getting changed. Here you can see 5901 right now and we just turned it off so it will gradually descend so 77 and low okay so now let's make a bigger fire it's a, just a general purpose kerosene burner so this is for a steady fire I just light it up and you can see because you just can see so there's my sensor and you can see there's 743 883 so if I change the direction and position it is also decreasing so you see for variations it's giving me various data so that's it and thank you for watching my video